Hey guys, it's Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge, and today we're taking a look at something I have not shown you before. For Miscellany Monday, you guys are going to be impressed. At least, I hope you will be. We're looking at this. This is the Smooth 4. I'm terrible at saying the brand name. Uh, Ziyun probably said it wrong. Um, I've heard it a number of times, even directly from the uh, the manufacturer's website themselves, but I still just say it wrong. But it says right there, Smooth 4. This is a very good smartphone gimbal. It has got a load of features. I can't cover all the features. Two reasons. Time. And uh, I don't have a compatible phone <laughs> that has all of the features on it. Uh, I mean, that's got all the features enabled for it. Uh, the company is working on more and more phones all the time to make them fully compatible. But the basics of it works with any smartphone that you can just physically fit in this space. And that is, uh, you know, your basic five and a half inch smartphone, a little bit smaller. And um, you fit it in there and it just works with your basic holding the camera steady while you move this thing around. Uh, you all kinds of movements and it's just gonna hold it. Uh, now it does follow if you do a pan, like if I turn this thing to the left, you know, see it starts to go along because it always wants to stay in that orientation. You see it just follows along. Now I can set it um, to not do that. You know, I got lock mode now, and now when I turn this, <laughs> it doesn't turn along. Hopefully everything's on screen so you can see that. So there's a switch here in the front that lets me do that. So if I flip that switch back up, it goes back to where I had it initially, uh, like this. You know, see I turn it and it's facing back that way. So even if I don't have a fully compatible phone, it can still do that because this phone's not fully compatible. Uh, let me show you some of these features. Let me talk about it. It even has an option to charge your phone from this battery right here. <laughs> it's got a C port here to charge with. It comes with a cable. First, let me show you what it all comes with. And uh, well, let's get onto a, a different perspective. I'll shoot down on a tabletop so we can take a good look at this thing. Keep watching. I do hope I'll be able to keep everything within the proper shot and hopefully I don't have my crotch in the video. <laughs> I know, most of the guys are watching this anyways. Uh, this is a pouch that I bought separately and I'll give you links to this. Um, on second thought, I would have bought a better pouch. Uh, the Amazon link for this will have this pouch and it will have another pouch that's like this was about 15 bucks. They got another pouch that's closer to $25 or something Canadian. And it's a whole lot better pouch. If you are going to buy a pouch to carry it with, carry it with, yes, I would suggest that you do get one. Uh, get the other one that's a little bit better. This one's good for what it is and for the price, it's totally worth it. So if you're stuck on a really small budget, certainly this is doable and good. I'm just suggesting if you've got that little bit extra money, get the better pouch. You know, inside the pouch, we've got a little netting so that you can put the extra stuff in here. And then it's got a zipper and it zips it shut nicely. And it's got a little bit of a holder and stuff. That's good. Uh, here's the box that it comes in. So yeah, it says smooth four on there. Um, Oh, that's the back of the box. So here's the front of the box. You get an image of it, and it's got some information on there. Uh, you know, just a straightforward, nice box. Inside the box, you get this. They've got their company name on there. It's a dense foam, really cool. Of course, you've got the uh, absorbency um, silica gel, which is a good thing. But really cool that they spent that much money on making this really good. And by the way, this thing is not crazy expensive. Uh, right now, it's 99 US, uh, $130 Canadian. Um, so you can get this for Christmas for somebody or for yourself. It'd be an awesome thing to do. So it's super secure in here. You can even use this as your carry option, at least temporarily until it gets all banged up. Uh, it's got a nice friction hold here. 
and it holds quite well. So if you need to, certainly keep this until you've got another option to carry it around in. Now this is extra. I made this myself. Um, let's see if I can take this out. Yeah, I'll show you a picture of this piece. You see, you've got just your regular micro USB here and this end, and you can buy tiny little adapters to plug it in and turn it into a micro USB on both ends, which is a really cool thing. Or you can buy cables from Walmart, uh, Amazon, all over the place that has these two uh, micro USB ends on them. Why is that a good idea? Because on here, and let me, um, let me turn this thing off. It's got a really neat feature. I should talk about that just for a second. That when you pivot this down like that, it's got a little detent here and it puts the thing in standby mode. So it's really good electronically that way. So if you don't want to film for 10 minutes or something and you don't want to reset the thing all the way up, you just click it into standby mode and it's all good to go. Because uh, when you take it out of standby mode, watch this it automatically goes back to exactly like it was before. <laughs> so standby mode, and you know, you can move it around, do whatever, and then when you unclick it, it's good to go. How neat is that? But anyway, on the side of this, you can see there's a little port there. It's a micro port, so you can plug in your cable, clickety-click, like so. I can't quite see what angle I'm on here. And then you plug this end into your phone or whatever device you have here, and it can charge it from this battery. Now that'll work if this is um, you know running or not, if you're videoing or not. The thing is, most phones, and let me unclick this again. Most phones have got the uh, charge port right here, and so I can't access it because I can't plug in to the phone right there. So it's not useful for absolutely everything, but if you've got a phone where maybe the port is a, on, this, on the edge, you can plug it in. Like if it's right up here, you can plug it in there. Or if it's on the side, you can plug it in there. Or you can just use it if you need to stand by, maybe you're having lunch and you wanna recharge your phone while you're waiting or whatever. It's just a neat little option that uh, comes with it. That's kind of cool, put that aside. And this is what you get with it. You do get this foot here. So that's a quarter inch 20 thread. Nice grips on there. Nice grips on the feet. So good that, uh, you know, this motor, if I just turn it on and I let go of it, watch this. It's going to just go nuts, right? So this foot here, this little tripod, is powerful enough that it won't do that. Like I showed you before, you know, you turn it on and it zips its thing around and the friction there holds it nicely. So that's a good option to have, which you can use or not use, totally up to you. So I'm gonna take it off because I won't be using it right now. And so that's how it goes on. The app for it is the ZY Play app, or Americans might say ZY, and that's in English. It's got so many features. You can do even this thing called Vertigo. Now, Vertigo is something that is cinematically really, really cool. It, it feels really odd. I don't know if you've ever seen, well, you have. I know you've seen it on some movies and stuff where the whole image seems to be zooming in, but it's not zooming in at the same time. And it just kind of looks and it feels really weird. It's got a feature built in to do that. Uh, which is very cool. Uh, you use this wheel to zoom the image in and out on a fully compatible app. And what you do is you zoom in while you're pulling the camera back or you zoom out while you're putting the camera forward. Now, you know, people can do that manually, but this thing's got a little applet for it. Well, not a separate app, but it's got a setting in the app. So you can set it all up so you don't have to be playing with any of these features you just set it up and then all you have to do is move the camera forward and it does all the zooming and everything for you. Great features. Holds your image steady. Uh, now here, let me show you a little bit of video of me using this thing. Well, I don't have a totally compatible cell phone, so I can't do um, all of the features. I can't show them all. 
But the main thing to show you guys, of course, is how good it is, how stable it is with taking a picture. So here I am walking along, you know, using my cane. It's kind of rough, but it's doing a very good job keeping it very still. That's a pretty fast movement going around in a circle. That keeps that pretty still. Sorry if that made anybody dizzy. It's 45 degrees, that's 45 degrees. 45 left, 45 right, 45 left, 45 right. That does that quite well. So once you get past about 50 degrees, you know, see it starts shaking, the whole thing just can't handle it. But that's quite a good range of movement. And then of course, moving it horizontal all the way down. Now I'm pointing it away from me instead of holding it upright. Upright, down, upright, down. That's very good. And uh, now I'm gonna do the same things, but without the gimbal. And uh, we'll just walk back the other way to my house and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm walking along. And of course, if I move it down, I end up doing all kinds of strange things. I can't even do it that way. And up, and it just does weird stuff. Okay, so you've seen that. Um, here's a close up. <laughs> it just works. Here's a close up of this control panel and all the different features that it has. Um, like I showed you before, it's got this switch to either lock it so that your camera pans with you or so it doesn't pan with you. Uh, power button, zoom, you can get into the menu. Uh, this hat switch has also got a wheel, so it's got a button. It's got four buttons, four ways, and it's got a wheel, and it's got a button in the middle uh, that does a flash or whatever. And then you've got these buttons back here for some more features. What I want you to do is if you think this is a good idea, and it is a good idea because it's a good buy, watch their own tutorials. They've got their own tutorials made by their company that you can watch and find all the different features to use this. Um, if I tried to do those features for you, I wouldn't do a great job of it. I wouldn't do them justice. So watch their features. Uh, just what I really wanted to show you here is that it is a very well-built machine. They've done a great paint job on it. I think I mentioned on one, on my unboxing or something, that this is metal. No, it's a plastic, but it's got a really cool kind of, really fine texture speckled paint job that actually helps you with a little bit extra grip. Uh, and, you know, the features that I already told you about with this parking, it, oh, wow, I am so super impressed. Um, I will be getting a compatible phone, I can guarantee you. Uh, I'm going to be getting a compatible phone. And I'm going to be getting a second one at $130 right now. $129 Canadian for this. For all that you see here, it's going to be a great gift for my daughter who just loves photography. And especially she loves videography. She's the one who just had her third child. And so she likes videoing her children, doing all kinds of stuff. And um, this is a super gift for her. Um, we do a name exchange thing in our family, and I've got her name this year. And uh, I'm keeping this, and hopefully we'll use this gimbal. Uh, well, I will use a gimbal for parts of my video in my video production um, for my reviews and things. But uh, I just wanted to let you guys in on this thing. This is an awesome device. Uh, let me show you a picture. Uh, it's a chart of all the devices that are compatible as of today. But they are continuing to make more and more uh, device, more and more cell phones compatible with the Zoom 4. So keep checking their website. I've got all the links down below in the description. Uh, the Amazon links to buy this and the links to their website so you can get the information from the company. So there you go awesome machine that I highly recommend. Uh, they make high-end machines too. They make gimbals for your DSLR cameras. Uh, you know, so they can hold like a three-pound camera. 
Uh, but that's enough of my rambling. I really like this. Highly recommend it. So thank you very much for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And thank you, especially my Patreon supporters. You guys are the best.